Hello everyone and welcome to Fun to be Free. Today's journey brings us to Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. Coming up next. Hey explorers, John with Fun to be Free inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go! We're here at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. Here's the Fort Wilderness Reception Outpost for vehicle entry. Please turn off your engine and remain in your vehicle. You could even rent a golf cart here at the Reception Outpost. Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground is a themed camping resort located in the Magic Kingdom Resort area at the Walt Disney World Resort. Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground has a woodsy rustic theme and is located on 750 acres of pine and cypress forest. The tree-lined winding roads loop around the various regions of the resort. Part of the resort is occupied by campsites where guests with RVs or tents can stay. The rest of the lodging area is occupied by the cabins at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort. The resort features playgrounds and two swimming pools. The meadow swimming pool features a winding water slide that includes the water tower from the now closed River Country Water Park. Other activities include fishing and horseback riding. A 2.3 mile exercise trail extends from the Pony Farm to Disney's Wilderness Lodge Resort. There are also canoes, kayaks, bikes, and tennis rackets to rent at the bike barn. Guests can even make reservations to learn archery and go horseback riding. At the marina, pontoon boats and other watercraft are available to rent to travel to the waterways of Bay Lake and the Seven Seas Lagoon. Here we are at the lobby. I hear strumming banjos. We've arrived at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. Let's just go through the double doors here and take a quick look at the lobby. And here's a quick look at the rustic lobby here at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. And here's a cozy fireplace and located just on the left and right hand side are restrooms here in the lobby. Now that we've seen the lobby, let's head over to the horseback trail ride. Let's head out these double doors here and go outside. Over to the right hand side is the bus stop for Disney's Magical Express. Here's the Tricircle D Ranch Trail Ride Check-In. We're just taking a quick look here at the Trail Ride Check-In window. Off in the distance are some horse stables here at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. Tricircle D Ranch trail rides. And here's where you giddy up at the Trail Blaze Corral to get on your horse. All this is the Outpost Depot, including the Fort Wilderness Transportation. Here's Fort Wilderness Transportation at the Outpost Depot. The Outpost Depot offers bus transportation to Epcot, Disney's Hollywood Studios, Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park, Disney Springs, or Disney water parks. Here's another quick look at the Outpost Bus Depot. And just beyond the Outpost Bus Depot, you could park your electric golf cart here and take the bus. There's also internal bus routes here at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground, including the orange, yellow, and purple lines. Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground has a few themed areas. They include the Outpost, the Settlement, Creekside Meadow, the Meadow, and Pioneer Hall located at the Settlement. Now let's go check out the Wilderness Swimming Pool located near the Creekside Meadow. Here's the restrooms, the guest laundry, and full-size showers offered at this location. And here's an internal bus stop. Here we are at the Creekside Meadow Wilderness Swimming Pool. And here's the Wilderness Swimming Pool restrooms and vending machines. There's also guest laundry on the back side. 
And here's the Wilderness Swimming Pool, one of two pools here at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. And here's a basketball court in the Creekside Meadow. Now that we've seen the Wilderness Swimming Pool, let's head over to the meadow themed area. Here we are at the Meadow Trading Post, one of two gift shops here at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. Let's go inside and see what merchandise items they have to offer. We're just inside the gift shop here and we're greeted by these resort offerings. But if we look over on the left hand side, here's a nice little shirt. Let's see how much this one is. It's $24.99. Here's some themed hats and also a chair themed to the Fort Wilderness. Let's take a quick look at the gift shop here before we go out the exit doors directly behind me. But over here on the right hand side, here's some firewood for a campfire. But now let's go through these double doors here, back outside. Just outside the meadow trading post and down on the ground, you could play a game of hopscotch. Look at this beautiful area here at the meadow. Just across the way is the bike barn. We'll go check that out in a moment. And up ahead is this nice dock. Directly ahead is Pan for Gold. And over to the right hand side is a neat little pedestrian bridge that we'll walk across in a moment. We're on the bridge now. If you look over to your left hand side, there's the pool. We'll go check that out in a moment. But let's go see Pan for Gold and the bike barn. Here's this neat water tower where you could pan for gold. On the opposite side is the Meadow Trading Post. And we've come up to the bike barn, recreational rentals, where you can rent a bike here at Disney's Fort Wilderness. And here's a quick look at the bike barn offerings. You could even play a nice game of cornhole. Here's a beach with some kayaks. There's also Chip and Dale's campfire sing-along just off over to the right hand side. And here you could take archery lessons. Anybody up for a game of shuffleboard? Straight ahead is the volleyball court and over to our right hand side is the meadow playground. We've just come up to the meadow swimming pool. Let's go take a look. Here's the meadow snack bar ordering area and just off to our right hand side is a refillable drink mug and soda station. Let's check out the Meadow Snack Bar's menu offerings. The Meadow Snack Bar has some entrees to offer, including a barbecued pulled pork sandwich for $10.29, the Meadow's loaded chips for $8.79, and a wilderness hot dog for $9.99. There's the Meadow Snack Bar again, and here's the main entrance for the Meadow Swimming Pool. Here's the meadow swimming pool with its water slide. Here's a look at the spa for the grown-up explorers. Here's another look at the water slide. Now that we've seen the meadow, let's go over to the settlement and check out the Tri-Circle D Ranch. We've arrived at the settlement bus depot. The settlement bus depot is where you could catch a bus to the Magic Kingdom. We're here at the Tricircle D Ranch. And here's the Tricircle D Ranch. Here's the Tricircle D Ranch. Let's head inside and off to the right hand side to see if we could check out some Disney and horses memorabilia. We're just gonna make a right here, just around the corner and head over there to the Disney and horses area. Walt Disney and horses. And here's your host, Walt Disney. Here's another look at the man himself. Here's a model of the Calliope. And here's that 1907 Calliope. Here's a quick look at some additional Calliope memorabilia. And here's a look at some of the horses they have here at the horse stable, like Clydesdales, Percherons, and Belgians. Here's the wedding harness room, and if we look just over to the right hand side, through the glass windows, we can see the harnesses. And here's Skylar. 
Skyla looks so friendly. And here's Paul. Paul's pretty tall. Hey, tall Paul. The Tricircle D Ranch also offers pony rides. Oh, and here are the ponies. How cute. Here's where you load on the ponies. And just off in the distance is the pony trail. Now that we've seen Tricircle D Ranch, let's head over past the settlement bus stop over to Pioneer Hall. Down here to the left is the settlement bus depot. Up ahead here is a construction fence, which is for the new upcoming Disney's Reflection Vacation Club Resort. And just up ahead here is Pioneer Hall. And here's Pioneer Hall that houses Hoop De Doo Musical Review. Here's the information and tickets for Hoop De Doo Review. Just over here on the right hand side are the restrooms. And here's Pioneer Hall again. Howdy. And here's the Hoop De Doo Musical Review. But sadly, at the moment, it's temporarily unavailable. Here's another quick look at Pioneer Hall. Located just behind me are my personal favorite restrooms here at the Walt Disney World Resort. We're gonna go inside, take a quick look. But before we do, rest assured, there's nobody in there. And we're just coming up to the men's restroom here. We're gonna go through this door and go into the men's restroom. Just over to the right hand side is my favorite mural here at the Walt Disney World property. There's varmints in my pants. And don't forget to ring that notification bell. And we've come up to P&J's Southern Takeout, Country Fixins to Go, with breakfast from 7.30 to 11.30 a.m. and lunch and dinner from 11.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. Here's the entrance to P&J's Southern Takeout. You just follow the ramp up here. And here's P&J's Southern Takeout. Let's have a look at the menu and see what they have to offer. P&J's Southern Takeout has a couple of featured offerings and they include the full slab barbecued ribs and eight piece fried chicken for $44.99 and the barbecue ribs full slab meal for $26.99. And here's just a quick look at P&J's Southern Takeout. And here's Crockett's Tavern at Pioneer Hall where they serve beer, wine, and cocktails. And it's located just over to the left hand side. Crockett's Tavern. Howdy folks. Crockett's Tavern is open today from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. We'll see you then. Crockett's Tavern offers some specialty cocktails like the Strawberry Lightning for $14, the Goalie Wumper also for $14, and the Moonshine Mojito for also $14. You could even sit on a rocking chair and enjoy your Grown Up Explorer's beverage. And we're just inside Crockett's Tavern. Here's Davy Crockett himself. And if you look just over to the left hand side, there's the Gully Wumper and some additional Davy Crockett memorabilia. Here's a quick look at the interior bar here at Crockett's Tavern. And here's the serving area for the Trails Inn restaurant buffet. But sadly, it's temporarily unavailable today. And here's a quick look at the Trails Inn restaurant dining area. Let's just have a quick look at Davy Crockett's Wilderness Arcade by looking through the window and see what we're missing. But now let's go out these exit doors back outside to the exterior porch and we're just outside of Crockett's Tavern. And just around the corner from Crockett's Tavern is Davy Crockett's Wilderness Arcade. But sadly, the arcade is temporarily closed today. But I'm hoping it will reopen shortly. And here's the settlement's playground for the Junior Explorers. And here's the settlement trading post, the gift shop, here at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. Let's go through these double doors right here into the gift shop. And inside the settlement trading post, we're immediately greeted with some 2021 merchandise. But let's swing around the backside and see if they have any resort specific merchandise here at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. Oh look, and they sure do. And they have mugs, 
and these mason jars being with Disney's Fort Wilderness logo. Let's see how much they are. It is $13.99. They also have this nice sweater and Fort Wilderness t-shirt. Let's see how much that is. It's $24.99. Let's take a quick look at the gift shop before we go out the exit. But if you look just down here, they have some necessary grocery items for Fort Wilderness camping. But now, let's go out the exit located on our left-hand side and go through these double doors here. We're just outside the settlement trading post, but let's head over to the marina and boat launch and look at that. And here's some additional electric golf cart parking. They also offer fishing at the fort. And just over to the right-hand side is Clementine's Beach. And we've come up to Fort Marina, recreation and boat rentals. Here's the Fort Wilderness, Marina, and Boat Rental Building. And here's boat transportation coming in from the Magic Kingdom to Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. There's also some boats for rental here on Bay Lake. We're just going to walk down this wooden dock and check out the boat transportation here at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. Here's the entrance for the green flag to the Magic Kingdom Park. And there's the boat that you take over to the Magic Kingdom. On the opposite side is the blue flag, the Disney's Wilderness Lodge and Disney's Contemporary Resort. And here's the watercraft that takes you over to the Magic Kingdom. And here's a quick look at Bay Lake. We're just coming off the dock now, but if you look over to the right hand side, there's a nice little area where you could relax and enjoy views of Bay Lake. Now let's go check out the campsites here at Fort Wilderness. Directly behind me is the settlement trading post. And here's a sign that goes to all loops and campsites straight ahead. Let's go down this pathway here. Here's just a quick look at one of the spots here in the loop. Here's a look at the cabins at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. Over on the left hand side is a little picnic table. Just up ahead is a barbecue. And over here is a deck with rocking chairs. Now let's head back to the outpost, the lobby, and the main entrance. Prepare for a time shift in the space-time continuum. at the main entrance again we've come full circle but sadly our journeys come to an end well I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground just as much as I have creating it for you with that being said remember to click subscribe smash that like button and ring that notification bell for future channel updates also follow me on Instagram and patreon until next time see you later explorers